Good morning. It's currently four in the morning. I'm enjoying some movie. I've been like re-watching this over and over the past few days. I love this is one of my favorite Adam Sandler movie. So I'm gonna watch this one and if I have the time I'm gonna watch the second one. But hello. Uh, it's been like an hour or like 30 minutes since Tony and I changed the shift. Tony is now in bed. He's going to sleep with Ame and I'm just out in the living room. I think Aiden is still sleeping. I think he was just fed as soon as when I woke up. So I think I have a good hour or so. And now I'm going to just hang out. I, I want to nap but... I don't know. I do have to wake up pretty early to go to the vet and then have the day to myself because um, it's only drop off. So after I drop him off, I'm gonna just like hang out around there, go to a cafe, edit videos, and just do some, you know, other stuff around. Also, I pumped this morning. I got an ounce. So I don't know why I always make my life harder than it should be because if i didn't try to wean if i try to wait it out because um, i feel like one of the reason why i feel like i, I think one of the reason why i like thought about relaxating is because oh now that like aiden can kind of sleep a little longer not a lot a little longer i feel like i have more time because i'm i actually am figuring him out a little better now that oh I have the time and energy to pump. So I think that's why I'm like, I, that's why I like we thought about it. So I am um, out and about <laughs> alone. Um, so today I had an appointment for Ahmed's uh, comprehensive exam. So I just dropped him off. Um, and I'm probably gonna stay around this area because it's a bit of a drive from the city or like where we live so uh, I'm going to hang out here go to cafe edit a little uh, maybe go shopping or something um, um, and then wait until I'm um, is ready to get picked up uh, so I'm just going to have a date alone and just hang out alone which i feel like during pregnancy i was like oh my gosh i want to hang out with to i was like almost like lonely when i was pregnant but now i'm like okay i want my alone time i don't want anybody i don't want anything i just want to be alone <laughs> um i am hungry i have not ate anything yet but it's still pretty early i got some mcdonald's just the easiest Maybe I'll get a lunch from some Korean place. Or <gasps> there's Japanese ramen place here. Maybe I'll go there. I got a egg muff egg muffin. Actually, I have to rethink about my lunch because I promised Tung that I'll bring some Korean like jajangmyeon and jjampong on my way back home. Oh, it's getting hot. So I don't know if I want noodles back to back, but we'll see. Delicious. Mm. So I know everything went up in its price, but man, I feel like the amount of money that we spent on Ame 
our fur baby. To, com to compare to some people, we might be spending way too much on his like medical bills or like his preventatives and all that. To some people, we're not spending as much. Whenever I get his comprehensive exam, I usually ask for like nail trim, his anal gland expression, ear cleaning and all that. My gosh, the price went up so much. And I was like, when she was telling me going over the how much it's gonna be charged, I was so shocked. I mean, like I'll do it, cause like I I always did, and like I rather do all that preventative and like grooming before. I rather take care of that instead like, instead of like waiting for something to happen because I wasn't like taking care of him, you know. And then the price. Feel a little guilty that. I get to do this alone, especially because like I know that not just baby, but like for Tom, because um he works a lot and on his off day he has to take care of the baby. So I just feel bad. I'm not gonna do this every week. Today I just had the opportunity to, because um especially like I don't want to like bring the baby all the way here and like we don't even have a place to just like hang out for a few hours, you know. I'm getting a checkup next week. I like for myself i'm seeing my ob next week and i'll be for sure but i think i started my period so i don't even know if really like cheating is gonna be even possible at this point i don't know how it works because i had discharge you know when i gave birth and then it stopped at like third week i was having like more i'm sorry for tmi it was more like a yellowish discharge and then that happened for like a few, week, few days and all of a sudden I started seeing blood again and I'm like oh my god what if this is like postpartum hemorrhage so I was very very concerned so I called in and I'm like I want to go I want to see my OB um, sooner because I am concerned for this this flow this discharge and she the lady was like you know it could be your period especially if you are giving your baby formula you know it could happen i'm like well i wasn't completely dried out so i was just like can i just like come in earlier just just in case but i am now 80 percent sure that this is my period because it's reducing because um, I know that for postpartum hemorrhage, one of the symptoms is on an overnight pad, it's going to fill up within an hour. That's like one of the symptoms. Mine is decreasing. <laughs> I haven't seen any blood clots that's like concerning. And it's very, very similar to my period. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure, I'm 80% sure that I have my period. And I don't know if relaxation is going to be easy or even like possible I, I knew it wasn't gonna be easy but we'll see throughout my entire pregnancy even during delivery I wasn't scared I was pretty like nonchalant about it but when I saw the blood again and when I researched and saw that there is this thing called postpartum hemorrhage I was so so worried and I, I think that caused the triggered like my postpartum like hormones and like depression so I got really really just upset and just really I was really sad that I had to go through this so I was checking my blood pressure every day because like if you do have postpartum hemorrhage your, your blood pressure does drop and from then on it could just be a really really severe problem so I was just really concerned but right now my blood pressure is pretty normal I don't have any like chills dizziness weakness or anything but still I was just kind of like worried because like I was still bleeding but this morning since last night it's been decreasing I'm oh, sorry it's been decreasing so I'm like okay maybe most likely this is my period and I'm hoping it's my period because then um, uh, it's fine <laughs> and I'm fine look at me an oldie listening to an oldie <laughs> anyways I 
Just finished dropping off my package. I thought it was UPS, so stupid of me. Went to UPS carrying the heaviest thing. UPS guy was really nice. He came out, he saw me coming in, he opened the door and carried it for me. And then he's like, Oh, do you have the QR code? I'm like, No, I mean, they have the shipping label. She's like, he, and He's like, No, this is FedEx. I'm like, Okay, well, that was stupid, so I came to FedEx. And then I dropped it off. Now, I am gonna go to a cafe and edit. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to another vlog. I think I don't even know if this is gonna be a new vlog, but anyways, I am a, not about to. I am heading out in a few hours. Um, it's currently 7:40 in the morning, but I am meeting my friend at 10 o'clock uh, at a cafe, and I am taking Aiden. So I am packing his bag right now. He's been drinking good four ounces per feeding, so I'm taking two bottles with four ounces. Got my water. To be honest, I might not even have to carry this because uh, I am going to a cafe and I'm sure they have water there. <laughs> but anyway, I am checking all these things. I do have to pack his diaper. These are all newborn sizes. I probably don't need these. I have my baby wipes, my Q-tip. I have my Q-tip because um, I, cause, you know, I told you guys in the other vlog that he still has like a little bit of hemorrhoid on his uh, rectum. So I do have to really take care of that, put some Vaseline or some kind of uh, um, like an ointment on it. So that's that. I'm going to put these away and get new diapers and I'm going to pack extra clothes and some uh, burp cloth, yeah. So some diaper. And then I'm going to bring this. This one is um like a shower, bath towel, but it's good to use uh, when I'm changing this diaper in public or when I, or like, you know, when I'm outside, I'm not home. I use this as like a little, blanket on there and I do have and I'm going to actually bring another pad so another diaper changing pad or liner just in case some burp cloth and then I have two pair of extra clothes I probably or most likely hopefully I will need it I don't need to change it but just in case everything in here is well not everything a lot of them are just in case kind of things Oh my god, I got the hiccups. He's got the hiccups. I know, Mama don't have hiccups. <laughs> you don't have hiccups. Baby has hiccups. Baby Ahmed doesn't have hiccups. <laughs> He's so confused. Um, so I had a great time at a cafe with my friend. We had a nice talk. Aiden was very good. He, I had given, I had one feeding there, but um, other than that, it was really, really good. I mean, the feeding was really good. He didn't cry. He slept, ate, and he just came home. So I have a few packages. I So I ordered the Frida nursing pillow a while ago it got lost so i never received this so they sent me a new one um so a replacement so i'm going to unbox that for next feeding and i kind of use that and i also got a playpen uh during the prime day uh, amazon prime day so i'm going to set that up as well this table it's gotta go so i'm going to clean that up and then put the playpen right there so i'm going to show you guys that as well but so he was napping but i think he woke up because of the hiccups he's not hungry yet uh, i'm just gonna actually try to wait until tone comes home he should be home soon but i'm just doing housework i don't know why this looks so complicated <laughs> i think it is too complicated for me at the moment i thought it would be just like like you pull a string and it just become a playpen you know oh man so one of the reasons why I got this one is because it comes with the fitted mat. Um, I could have got a better playpen with the separate play match, but 
I made my life easier by just getting this. I will link this down below if I like it. But we'll see. We got the play pen. It's a lot smaller than I thought. Um, but it still works. It's, I think it's perfect for this little corner. I mean, later if you have to get a bigger one, then there's something to worry about later. But... <laughs> yeah, it's fun. <laughs> it's frustrating. I know. Reach for it. He has not been sleeping, so he's on his bouncer. So it's not that I'm protecting him from anything with this gate. I just thought it was nice to have a designated area for him where I could put his toys, his bouncer, and all that. Okay, okay. I don't know if he's making this sound because he's just frustrated or... It's so cute. <laughs> oh, oh man. He's finally sleeping. For now. He might wake up soon, but we'll see. Oh, I am finally sitting down. Got this all set up. Uh, I ate not too long ago, but man, time flew. I'm gonna let make something real quick. Um, hopefully he doesn't wake up. So one of the reasons why I don't like this bouncer is because yes, it helps him to fall asleep. But sometimes the moment I stop rocking it, he wakes up. Um, I know that when he's in deep sleep, he doesn't, but I feel like right now he's in a deep sleep. Yeah, he's not gonna wake up, but while I have him sleeping, I'm going to make myself some dinner and relax a little bit until the next feeding and next craziness. My laundry is going, I've been doing laundry every day. Um, I've been trying to like space it out for myself so I'm not too tired. I can't. I just really like using the wet cloth over using the paper, um, not the disposable one, but I like the one that I could just constantly wash. So there's a lot of laundry every day and I've been like liking it. I think it's less irritating for him. It feels cleaner um, and less, less um, waste. Can't even think of the word. Anyways, yeah. Oh, by the way, the look how big this nursing nursing pillow is. Um, right now, it's at its highest. There's multiple cushions in it that you could take out as the baby grows, but right now it's at its highest, and it sits very high. So when uh, Aiden, we're holding Aiden without any aids, he's pretty low. So I think like it was kind of bad on my shoulder and back because I was kind of like crunched down like. A little bit but that sits very high so it's actually very comfortable a lot more than i expected so i'm glad we got that um so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here if you guys enjoyed i hope this one was a little longer i do want to shoot for like 20 minute vlogs but it's been pretty difficult sometimes all i do is talk and i think that's what i've been doing and i don't know if it's something that you guys enjoy <laughs> but yeah i do want to focus the vlog more on me i know i show aiden here and there but i do want it to be more about me as a first time mother um keeping it real and just kind of um not really losing myself i am a mom but i think i am more than a mom so um, and i think this, these vlogs are really keeping me to do that so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed everything and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.